മൂന്ന് ഡിസ്ട്രിബ്യൂഷൻസ് നമ്മൾ പഠിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞു ബൈനോമിയൽ പോയിസോൺ ആൻഡ് നോർമൽ ഈ മൂന്ന് ഡിസ്ട്രിബ്യൂഷൻസിൻ്റെയും ഒരു താരതമ്യ പഠനം ഇപ്പോൾ നടത്തുകയാണ് ബൈനോമിയൽ പോയിസോൺ ഡിസ്ക്രിറ്റ് ആണ് നോർമൽ കണ്ടിന്യൂസ് ആണ് അതിൻ്റെ എക്സാമിനേഷൻ പോയിന്റ് ഓഫ് വ്യൂവിൽ ഒരു കമ്പാരിറ്റീവ് അനാലിസിസ് of these three distributions are performing now now we are discussing three distributions together or making a comparison between three distributions they are binomial poisson and normal these three distributions are used to evaluate probabilities there are several distributions in statistics but in management studies we use these three distributions binomial poisson and normal then we try to make a comparison of these three it is binomial is a discrete probability distribution poisson is discrete but normal is continuous binomial and poisson are discrete discrete means assuming integers the random variable assuming integers as its values continuous that can assume any value any value in a specified interval here random variable x denotes number of successes in finite number of trials binomial distribution is used to the probability behavior of number of successes in a fixed number of trials in poisson distribution x is the number of successes that is same as the binomial distribution but there is a difference that is in large number of trials x is the number of successes in very large number of trials so in binomial number of successes as well as number of failures are known but here only the number of successes is known since n is very large normal distribution is continuous it is used to study the behavior of economic variables in general a variable which can assume any value in any value so it is used to prescribe the probability behavior of a continuous continuous varying phenomenon in binomial distribution we have two parameters the binomial distribution is determined by the number of successes it is finite fixed and the probability of success in a single trial both are to be known in advance from our past experience n is finite that is not from not from past experience that is finite and p is to be known from past experience and parameter is in poisson distribution is m m is the average number of successes that is known from very large number of trials from past experience for normal distribution the parameters are mean and sigma square so for binomial n and p for poisson m and for normal mu and sigma square what is the utility of binomial it is to study the probability behavior of dichotomous alternatives either good or bad either success or failure either male or female so it is to study the pattern of successes in finite number of trials of dichotomous alternatives whereas poisson distribution is to study the pattern of rare or casual events the possibility of occurrence of an event is very 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 large but the actual number of occurrences is very very small so it is termed as the law of improbable events in normal distribution we deal with the symmetry normality and normality or symmetry is formulated over a long period of time that is to study the pattern of occurrences based on observations over a long period of time we are gathering information we are gathering a pattern of symmetry or norm normality it is formulated it is gathered over uh, over a long long period of time the probability function of binomial distribution is n c x p to the power of x q to the power of n minus x where x assumes values 0 1 to up to n 
and p plus q is 1 and p lies between 0 and 1. For Poisson distribution it is e to the power of minus m, m to the power of x by x factorial where x assumes values 0, 1 to etc and m is greater than 0. E is a constant. The value of E is 2.71828 etc. The probability function of normal distribution that is not required, not used in management studies. And for binomial, the param constants are mean is NP, variance is NPQ and standard deviation is square root of NPQ. In case of Poisson distribution, mean is M, variance is M. Standard deviation is square root of m. This is a special case. Mean and variance having the same value is a special case in statistical studies. In Poisson, mean equal to variance equal to m. That is termed as the uniqueness property of Poisson distribution. For normal, we have two parameters, mu and sigma square. And mu is the mean. Variance is sigma square. The standard deviation is Square root of sigma square, that is sigma. For normal distribution, we have to find probabilities, but we do not use the probability function of normal distribution. Then we use the area property of normal curve. It is a symmetrical curve. The area property of normal curve is used to determine probabilities. In binomial, there is a constant NCX. This is a mathematical constant. This is a method of selecting x units from n. That is n factorial by x factorial into n minus x factorial. But the complexity is not, will not affect the students since ncx is directly available from statistical tables. Similarly, e raised to minus m is directly available from statistical tables. Binomial distribution is suggested by James Bernoulli. We use binomial distribution to evaluate probabilities under the following conditions. 1. The number of trials, that is n, is finite. That is the first parameter of binomial distribution, that is fine. That is to be finite. 2. That is the dichotomous alternatives. Each trial has two mutually exclusive outcomes, namely success and failure. That is, either success or failure in a single trial. Success and failure in a single trial is an impossible event. This mutually exclusive outcomes. Third case, probability of success in a single trial P is constant and known. Fourth case, probability of failure, Q is equal to 1 minus P. We use binomial under these conditions. And Poisson distribution is known as law of improbable events. It is an extension of binomial distribution. Binomial distribution tends to Poisson or Poisson is the limiting case of binomial. What are the conditions? The number of trials is very very large. In binomial n is finite but in Poisson n tends to infinity. n is very very large. And success being a rare event. Probability of such a single trial is negligibly small. p tends to zero. And the byproduct of that n p is equal to m. That is a finite constant. In case of normal distribution we use the property of graph of normal distribution. The graph of normal distribution is called normal curve. It is a bell-shaped curve. It is symmetrical about x equal to mu. For normal distribution, mean is equal to median is equal to mode is equal to mu. And it is a mesocritic curve. For evaluating probabilities for normal distribution, we use the normal curve instead of its normal probability function. Some practical situations of Poisson distribution where we use, where we apply Poisson distribution. Poisson distribution is used where the chances of occurrences are 
very very large and the actual number of occurrences is negligibly small possibility of occurrence is very large but probability of occurrence is negligibly small here are some situations the number of air accidents occurring on a day the chances are very large but actual number of occurrences is negligibly small the number of defects observed in a product produced by a good firm by a good firm so the number of defects is negligibly small three the number of misprints observed in a page of a textbook the number of misprints observed in a page of a textbook and four the number of units joining in a queue for a service these are some practical situations of poisson distribution then coming to normal distribution a normal distribution with a zero mean and unit variance is called standard normal distribution that is mu is equal to zero and sigma square is equal to 1 the area that is the probability under standard normal curve has been tabulated statistical tables are available and the students can take that statistical tables along with them to the examination hall so we use the standard normal tables for evaluating probabilities then we have infinite combinations of n mu sigma square then the given n mu sigma square can be transformed or can be changed into standard normal using is a transformation where is a is equal to x minus mu by sigma then we use standard normal tables to determine probability moona theoretical distributions indeyum or comparative analysis ipo nammal cheythu kazhinu or examination point of view le moona distribution de or tharathamye padhanam അതിനു വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് ഈ വീഡിയോ സഹായകമാകും എന്നാണ് വിശ്വസിക്കുന്നത് ഓക്കെ